Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. To Natalie the Dawn, I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 and now we're gonna have a match between Marquis and Peltas on La Isla Bonita or La Isla Bonita. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's, I mean, Sprung pointed out a song that is La Isla Bonita, which sounds really weird to me, but then again, it only sounds weird to me because it's not like Lille Belle or something like that. Like the fact that it's not in French, but it's still a Romance language, is starting to throw me off a bit. Like, the fact that it's La Isla, like, there isn't an apostrophe, it's not eliding the vowels, that just throws me off. Anyway, so whatever the map is called. <laughs> and the Pretty Island. Just do that. Translate it to English. So, I have Marquis and Felthos, and we'll just get started. Marquis over on the southeast side of the map, going for Amphibious, while Felthos in the north, going for Amphib as well, because this is an Amphib-friendly map. Mixed map, that's how it goes. Let's see. Well, I know it's... it's Yes, thank you, Skazi. I know it's Italian or Spanish, not French. Probably Italian. I get that it's not French. It's still a Romance language. And the only Romance language I know is French. So I have certain intuitions about how Romance languages work with elided vowels, and... Yeah, this isn't fitting them. Obviously, it doesn't have to. It's just... It's just me. Anyway, both players going for... Looks like a relatively similar start. Getting some economy, getting some early... Actually, no, Veltas not going for early harassment yet. They're... Are they attacking? Or are they defending? Looks like they're just defending. And Marquis is kind of doing the same thing. Neither player going to scout out or harass or anything. Which I find strange. The Veltas went for the recon com. Marquis went for economy command. So Veltas will have an easier time expanding with their commander. Although we saw how that worked last time. So if Marquis goes for gunships quickly enough... They should be able to tear apart Felthos where Felthos is not expecting it. Don't think Marquise is going to do that, though. Unless they... If they saw that last game between Felthos and Flipstep, then it might work. They might know what to do. Ah, stupid piece of crap. Uh, I've got to fix this something so that it never shows the built-in... Like the built-in command panel, the engine command panel that just popped up there. That should never show. If I want... If they have the menu off, I want it off. I don't want sh anything shown. It's minimalist interface. I kind of wish there was a setting to make that not happen. I know there's a setting that when you turn off the integral menu, nothing, it doesn't show up, which I have on. It just would be nice if that was off by default. Or at least if the integral menu... I don't know, I have to figure out something. Probably something where the integral menu is on and then it hides itself or turns itself off at the beginning of the game rather than having to manually turn it off. I don't know. I, mean, I guess that's possible, like, if you're a spectator, turn itself off. That would work, at least for me. Eh, yeah, well. I'm going to look into that tomorrow. Doesn't really matter, so at this point, Feldhaus and Marquis is trying to figure out where the other ones are. I mean, neither one really knows. Although I think Feldhaus suspects Marquis is in the southeast. And Markeeves with... Well, they don't know yet. Now they do. Now they see it. And over to the west as well. So two fights. So the west, they kind of know. They know. They know where each other started in. Because neither of them clearly started in the southwest. Or sorry, the west. Just due west. Neither of them started there. It's pretty obvious. Otherwise, there'd be far more defenses there. As you can see here in this fight over in the center... And Felthaus being forced to move back. They're kind of being forced to fall back here. Mark, he's going for an archer. Okay, getting some archers up. I have not seen these in a while. Rarely you see players go for these. They're handy against ducks. You just don't see them often because players just go for more ducks. It's kind of the typical thing. It's sort of a meta meta game of 0k is raiders. It's always the case that raiders are often, most often countered with more raiders. More better micro raiders. It's typically how people try to counter raiders. Oh, splash damage. Didn't want to see that. Belthos, I'm sure they're really happy that just happened because that turned the entire fight around. They had a major local disadvantage there, but that splash damage, that did the trick. Unfortunately, this archer totally unsupported. Marquis, are they aware of this at all? Oops, wrong player. Is Marquis aware of this at all? No. Well, a little bit, but not really. Really? 
And I'll see how this goes. And Marquis is well, getting a bit of advantage here. Tearing apart one duck at the cost of, well, two ducks at the cost of one duck. Opening up the southeast. And they have the southwest, and they can take if they can take this expansion, that'll be really handy. So Feltos trying to figure out if Marquis has already taken it. The answer is no, they have not. Though Marquis, they need to build more energy. They desperately need more energy, or at least. Oh, I see. They're building wind generators. Kind of getting that up. And Marquis is going for the gunship plant. I think they saw the game between Feltos and Flipstep because they are going for that same strategy. Build up rapiers and banshees and run around the other side, tearing it to shreds. Unfortunately, they have to wait until the wind picks up. At this point, the wind is not picking up enough for them to actually do this properly. Again, to the point where excessing energy is an issue. They need to build. What are they doing? What are you, what are you doing? Oh. Huh. Why are you not building? Come on. Energy. Oh, is the is the wind picking up? No, it is not. The wind is still a bit problematic. If the wind were to pick up, they'd be in a great position right now. Unfortunately for them, it is not. Fortunately for them, they found Feltos' commander doing the exact same thing as last time, in the exact same vulnerable position as last time, and probably just as dead as last time. Although, no, successfully getting over to the north here. Or, sorry, the north, the top. Up is not north. Up is up. North is north. Still, the expansion is completely destroyed, and... Did that archer just step on the duck to death? Or just pushed it to death? Yeah, the archer just killed its own friendly duck. So, archers are at least effective against friendly ducks. That we know. We found that for sure. Whereas, Marquis... Okay, now, now they have the energy picking up. And they got the fusion plan as well. Are they going to actually build gunships, though? Yes, they apparently... Oh, no, are they? They just selected it. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. In the gunship up. Still could use ground forces, though. And full of ducks. Half a dozen ducks. Not great. Not if they want to fight Phaelthos head-on right now. And this expansion completely locked out. Marquis at this point is... Both of the coastal expansions are locked out. Phaelthos not allowing Marquis any room into there. I'm a little surprised... Ooh, Phaelthos even with a nice little sneaky duck force over in the back here. But yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that Marquis is not just running up and dealing with all this. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Oh well. I guess that's a thing then. Yeah, this one. Okay, so Orkies now knows about the ducks over in the southwest, but they don't know about the ducks over here, and Felthos hasn't attacked yet. They could anytime they want, but they haven't yet. Now, the Rapier Force coming up, that will be a problem for the commander, and I don't think that Felthos. Okay, they have their own gunship plant. Getting Banshees, which neither player is really prepared for the other one having gunships, but they can easily set up tridents. It's not really a big deal either way. Marquis, they want to take this expansion, but it's really hard for them to hold it. Thalthos could pretty easily take this coastal expansion. They have the one in the north. Marquis is not really taking advantage of the water, that's for sure. They're attacking constantly on land. I mean, this does have water. Units can go into the water. It's totally amphib pathable. So there's no reason not to do so. Ah, there we go. Now the Reaper's coming up, but at this point we should see Tridents right away. And already even more Banshees, too. Like, more Banshees than there are Rapiers. Hmm. Could be an issue. At any rate, Marquis is going to be able to deal a fair amount of damage here. Should be able to deal with this. I mean, the boys, oh, yeah, e easy enough time tearing around most of this stuff. And the Banshees going around completely, not even getting in. And this is where, finally, Feldos comes up from the water. Those ducks have been waiting there for the last five minutes at least. Pretty much the entire game, they've been waiting in the back. Just sitting here. Waiting for the order. And finally came. At the same time, though, where are those tridents? There are the tridents. Okay, so there's at least two. Vapor's able to get a fair amount of damage, though, and with this urchin down... The oh, like, no, there's no real ducks. There's no... Marquis doesn't have enough forces to go around the back, sadly. If they did, that'd be really handy, but they don't. So, nuts to that, I guess. <laughs> They're not going to be able to do much. Still, they are going to be able to deal a bit of damage. Ah, Razor, though. That is a problem. If these were Banshees, it wouldn't be. 
But they're not banshees, they're rapiers. I don't know what Marquis Marquis, get out of there. Get out of there! Marquis, you're not paying attention. You you're not paying attention. I'm sure Marquis is kicking themselves right now. Or at least during the game, they were kicking themselves because they lost all the rapiers and they could have run away. Although I think they probably figure it's game. Just all the banshees coming in. This is last ditch attempt from boys, and that is gonna be it. After this, that's game. There's just no way. Not not a chance. There's nothing being built. There is a crow being built. That's even worse. Like, all that metal that is not going to be used. And Mark keeps losing the expansions, and I mean, it's not like a crow is going to win the game at this point. The tridents will deal a lot of damage to it, and it's not going to be able to get into anywhere useful. Veltos is fairly spread out. I mean, they've kind of gotten what they wanted in the game with Flipstip, where they have the entire north side pretty much to themselves, but they've actually gotten it now. Rather than trying to get it, and then Flipstep comes in with a load of units, tearing it to shreds, killing the commander, and otherwise destroying the entire hope for any sort of expansion attempt. Marquis, on the other hand, didn't quite manage to destroy it. Didn't ma quite manage to destroy Phaelthos' hopes and dreams. So right now, Phaelthos is in a really good position. They have twice the economy, they have loads of production, they have all the counters they need. And they have a bunch of Banshees they can just rush in to destroy anything with. I mean, they can hit the main base right now with those Banshees and probably just win outright. I'm not kidding. I mean, the Stardust will be a problem. But the Razors? Not really. And all the wind gens that would be killed, completely crippling Marquis' economy. That'd be worth it. Brawler's coming in as well, though they have been spotted, but that's fine. I don't think Marquis can do much about it. I mean, they know... They know that there are brawlers there. They probably don't really care. So at this point, the brawlers are kind of going to end it. I don't... I mean, Marquis have that crow. I just don't understand why they went for the crow. Crows are something you go for when you have a pretty decent position, but you're trying to break a defensive line. Trying to win the game with, with a unit like that doesn't usually work. Like, the thing is, the problem really comes down to pretty much when you're dealing with gunships or dealing with anything, you can't just you can't just use that unless you know that there's going to be some specific linchpin point that you can hit with to kill. But in a map this large, that's not going to happen or not very likely. And where it is going to happen, it's going to be a gauntlet to get in there, and then you'll probably donate all that metal anyway. Like, it's not like this is an I win button. You don't just hit with it, and then all of a sudden you win. If anyone's been watching the Guild Gear streams that I've been doing, you'll be you'll know more or less about the instant kill moves. There's no such thing in 0k. Although, admittedly, the silencer silo comes close, but yeah, there's no such thing in 0k. You can't just build a specific unit or use a specific attack and suddenly win the game outright. That's actually not true of a lot of Total Annihilation based games since you just have to kill the commander and that's it. So if you have something that kills the commander, that that's kind of the instant kill move. Not so much in 0k. Commander death does not end the game, so that's not the way to do it. How many banshees are there? Oh. Huh. Two. That's it, huh? Well, zero now. Okay, never mind. There actually is an I win button. There is literally an I win button in the game. But you can't build it in normal play. It's a cheat only unit. But I forgot about that. Someone actually did implement an I win button in 0k. But now the crow's out. I mean, it's damaging for sure. Tridents are being a pain though. But yeah, it, you know, it's damaging and more tridents coming in. Marquis, however, doesn't have much of an economy to work with at this point. Most, a lot of it being overdrive, not most of it, but a lot of it is overdrive. The Crow already at half health. That is not good. Basically what the Crow is trying to do, as far as I can tell, is rush into the main base and degun the main base, tearing apart the production to buy Marquis enough time to hopefully rebuild. Unfortunately, it can't even get that far. It might not die? I don't know. I think it's probably dead, but it seems to be outpacing the Tridents well enough. Or, no, it's dead. Nope, it's just, it's chosen to die. 
Last ditch attempt to get from Brawler as it dies, and that's game. Marquise throws in the towel, and should be blowing up any minute now. There we go. Well, it seemed like they actually had an idea of how to deal with fail toss on this map. Just didn't quite manage to do it. Unfortunately, didn't quite have... If they destroyed the commander, that would have been a lot of help. Would have really destroyed a lot of this stuff over here. Because that was it. That's all there was. The commander and nothing else. The northwest would have been wide open at that point. But yeah, the crow... Can't say I agree with that. Not in that situation. Not as a comeback maneuver. Not when your opponent has so much... Like, not on a map this size, your opponent can easily outpace your economy if you aren't pushing them. And when you're building a crow, you're not pushing them. But yeah, trying to break through a defensive line, great. On a smaller map, great. On a map this size, not particularly useful unless you're trying to push a defensive line. But still, it wasn't a bad game. I thought they both played decently. Now, we're going to have one last match. I have Horus between Flipstep and Failthaw. It's a much more typical map. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.